Yo, what's up? Today we're talking about why modern women hate vanilla. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Kane. I'm the Silver Bachelor, and this channel is 100% dedicated to dating advice for older guys. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification button because I'm dropping a video every day. All right, why modern women hate vanilla. And listen, I'm not talking about ice cream. What I'm talking about is men that are on the one hand providing a safe environment for the woman that they're with. They are reliable, they communicate, they help, they're a provider, but they're boring as fuck. So don't take my word for it. In fact, Netflix has two series specifically about this. If you haven't seen Joan is Awful, which is a uh, episode of Black Mirror, or you haven't seen the show Sex Life, both of those shows, um, basically the situation is the woman is, is in this marriage or in this relationship, and the guy seems like the perfect guy. Like they don't fight, he's a provider, he's nice, all these things. But behind the scenes, each woman is fantasizing about this toxic, um, wild, I mean, in the bedroom wild partner that they used to have. So they're ex. And in both situations, they meet up with that ex and things kind of explode from there. And I, you know, I started watching Joan is Awful just the other day and I thought, oh, damn, I have to do a, a video on this topic. And here's the thing is like, I truly believe that us guys, we can be a combination of both. We can provide women with that uh, security, with that um, communication that they need and everything else that they need, but add some spice to the recipe, if that makes sense. So it's very, very important, guys, that you, you realize that you need to add spice and unpredictability in that relationship and even some insecurity in relationships. So let's just cover each one. So unpredictability is just don't be so damn reliable all the time. Now, you don't want to do this too much, but for example, let's say you're always the one saying, good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, just mix it up a little bit. Like sometimes don't say good morning. And then, of course, she's going to wonder um, what's going on. And you just say, oh, sorry, um, I've just been super busy in, this morning with meetings or whatever. And I know for those that are watching, you might be thinking, oh, God, you have to play these games. Yes, you have to play these games because it's not it's so important to keep that relationship going. Because at the end of the day, women don't want reliability, consistency. They get bored. So unless you guys want to be one of those guys that she's bored with and now she's banging your ex or she's meeting up with her ex, reaching out to her ex, whatever. I was married for 20 years. I know a little thing about this. Plus now dating, like women just love some unpredictability and you need to provide that for them because remember it's, it's, it's spice. They're look, they don't want bland chicken every single damn night they want the odd time and again you need to decide when is this i maybe will drop some spice here and there every other week or so and they just like that um maybe they text you a question and let's say you're not seeing each other on a friday night right you're both doing your own thing she texts you something earlier in the evening and let's say you don't respond to her at all for hours, or maybe not at all that night. 
she, I guarantee her mind is going to go crazy. She's going to think, oh, is he out with this girl? Uh, what is he up to? I'm concerned, whatever. Now, if she texts you later in the evening and says, oh, are you okay? I'm concerned. Okay, you need to respond to that and acknowledge that text. But let's say she asks you a question, you just don't respond. I'm, I'm, you need to use this sparingly. But just every now and again, you need to add a little spice to the meal, right? That makes sense. So the insecurity, she needs to sometimes feel like women desire you and that another woman could take you from her. So I covered this in one of my other videos. But let's say, for example, now that... Ideally, this happens in an organic way, and it's not a forced way. Like, you don't want to make her jealous with her seeing your phone and it starts to light up with some exes texting you, which is not necessarily a bad thing. But you don't want to initiate any of this, right? So, insecurity. The things that you can control is by going to the gym and looking good, okay? Like, I'm not in the best shape. Uh, compared to a lot of guys out there, but I think I look pretty good. And when she knows that you're going to the gym three days, four days a week, in their mind and subconsciously, she's going to know, oh, other women will find him attractive. So if you take very good care of yourself, she, she, she's subconsciously knowing other women will find you attractive. So that's something that you can control, and she will always be a little bit insecure. The best situation is, let's say you're at a restaurant and you're sitting at the bar and the server is flirting with you or another woman sits near and she starts flirting with you or shows an interest. It's going to piss her off, but I guarantee you're going to have wild sex that night because she is thinking, man, if I don't step up my game, I'm going to lose this guy. So those two things, right? That unpredictability and insecurity will help you not be that vanilla guy because like i said women don't ultimately like vanilla now the last thing i'm going to touch about touch on is in the bedroom that's the un, that's part of the unpredictability thing where if you're doing you're having the same sex the same positions over and over and over again she is going to really start to lose interest in you so without telling her, you need to spice it up a little bit. Just completely surprise her. Maybe you go out and you buy this new toy and you say, hey, look, I want to try this tonight. Or you touch her in a certain way that you haven't touched her like before. So this will tap into the insecurity part because she's going to think, why is he all of a sudden doing this new thing? Why is he all of a sudden interested in this new toy? Why has he, why has he just kissed me in a way that he hasn't kissed me before? In her mind, she's going to be thinking, oh, there must be another woman in the scene or something because well, what's causing this? And of course, there's no other woman in the scene. You're just saying, hey, I just want to spice things up sometimes. Um, maybe take her to a place that she's never been to before and you plant a kiss out of the blue. Maybe she's not really into public display of affection and you, out of the blue, you grab her leg and maybe put your hand between her legs or something like that. You know what I mean, guys? So just, just keep focusing on the unpredictability and insecurity. Those two things, she will definitely not see you as vanilla. And most importantly, I'll leave you with this, is you need to take care of yourself and she needs to know that you taking care of yourself is a priority. And I, she's going to know, she's not stupid. She's going to know if you're working out, you're uh, taking care of yourself in the way you dress. You, I did a video on this on the importance of um, wearing a fragrance as well. So she knows if you look good and you smell good, other women are going to desire you and women hate competition they hate being insecure but it turns them on like you would not believe so listen guys i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments if you've had any situations because i want to hear your story of being vanilla 
and how that's impacted your relationships. And most importantly, what did you do to either improve that relationship or the next relationships? What did you do so you didn't fall in the trap of being this vanilla guy that women ultimately get bored of? Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.